Hello everyone. Welcome to this session of Blockchain Wallet. My name is Saurav and I am part of the Simply Learn team. So let's get started and let's see what's in store for us today. So what's in it for you today? We are going to understand why do we need Blockchain Wallet? What is a Blockchain Wallet? How do these wallets work? What are the different types of Blockchain Wallets? Their comparisons and a demo on the usage of these Blockchain Wallets and we will try to do certain transactions using these wallets. Now, before these blockchain wallets came into existence, what were the means in order for us to do the transactions and what were the drawbacks? In the old days, the transactions with whatever medium and channels we had, the problems were that the transactions were slow and banks were the central point of failure. Basically, any transaction which has to go through has to go through some intermediary channels and has to pass through certain intermediaries like bank, which makes them a single point of failure. Also, there are issues in keeping track of all accounts and balances. Data get jeopardized, manipulated, or even get corrupted across multiple systems where the accounts and balances are maintained. Now here comes into existence what is called as blockchain wallet. Now what is blockchain wallet? A blockchain wallet is a cryptocurrency wallet that allows users to manage different kind of cryptocurrencies, for example, Bitcoin, Ethereum, etc. Now, a blockchain wallet helps exchanging of funds easily. Transactions are secure as they are cryptographically signed. The wallet is accessible from web or mobile devices and the privacy and identity of the user is maintained. So therefore, a blockchain wallet provides all the features which are necessary for a safe and secure transfer and exchange of funds between different parties. A blockchain wallet is a typical cryptocurrency wallet that allows users to manage cryptocurrencies. It is very similar to the process of sending or receiving money through PayPal or any other gateway which you use today. But now you can use cryptocurrency instead, similar to PayPal, which you're using for making transactions with your fiat currency. Now let's take a look at the ecosystem of blockchain wallets. Here are certain examples like Electrum, Blockchain.info, Jax, Mycelium, Samurai and Bitcoin Paper Wallet. These are just to name a few blockchain wallets which are existing in the market but there are many more based on the requirement you have, based on the security you require and based on the kind of wallet which suffices your need. So we will see what are the categorizations of these kind of wallets are. Now how do blockchain wallets work? Let's take a look. So before we move on to how blockchain wallets work, let's understand what a private and a public key is and how are these keys related to a blockchain wallet. Now whenever you create a blockchain wallet, you are also provided a private and a public key which is associated with your wallet. Now let's take an example in order to understand this. Imagine a person knowing your email address is sending you an email. So in our regular day to day activity, if we want to receive an email from someone, we give him or her our email ID and expect an email from them. Now, what if an unknown person is able to send emails through my account? So I am giving my email address for receiving email, but when I am disclosing my email ID, I'm not assuming that someone will be able to send emails through my account because then for that he has to be aware of my email account password. So knowing your email address will not give a person the ability to send an email from your account. You are not giving your password to the person to send an email. You are just giving the email address. To send an email from a particular email address, an individual has to be aware of the password associated with it. Now blockchain wallet follows a similar process using public key and private key both together. Public key is similar to your email address. So basically, whenever your wallet is generated, a public key is generated, you can share that public key with anyone in order to receive funds. Private key is top secret, it's similar to your password, it should not get hacked or you should not disclose it to anyone and you use this private key to spend your funds. So now, instead of sending an email, imagine you want to transfer money to your friend. This transfer process is done through your blockchain wallet. With blockchain wallets, you can now send and receive cryptocurrencies. So as I said, a blockchain wallet has two keys, a public key and a private key. 
public key is shared with everyone just like an email address private key is just like your password which should be kept secret with the sender so with blockchain wallet no one will be able to send crypto coins just like emails through your public key until they know your private key but if someone gets access to your private key there is a high possibility that your account is hacked and you might end up losing all the cryptocurrency deposits in your account now let's take a look what are the typical features of a blockchain wallet it's easy to use it's just like any other software or a wallet which you use for your day-to-day -day transactions it is highly secure it is just a matter of you securing your private key and it allows instant transactions across geographies barrier free without intermediaries and also these transactions charges you low cost fee and these wallets help you do transactions across multiple cryptocurrencies so you can make payments across cryptocurrencies which helps you do easy currency conversions now let's talk about what are the different type of blockchain wallets now basically there are two types of blockchain wallets based on the private keys one is hot wallet and another is the cold wallet hot wallets are like normal wallets which we carry for day-to-day -day transactions and these wallets are user friendly cold wallets cold wallets are similar to a vault where cryptocurrencies are stored with a high level of security now let's take a look at the differences hot wallets are online wallets through which cryptocurrencies can be transferred quickly they are available online on internet example coinbase blockchain.info cold wallets they are digital offline wallets where the transactions are signed offline and then later disclosed online so they are not maintained on the cloud on the internet they are maintained offline to have high security and the examples of cold wallet are treasure and ledger now in case of hot wallets private keys are stored in the cloud for faster transfer in case of cold wallets private keys are stored in a separate hardware which are disconnected from the internet or the cloud or are stored in a paper based document hot wallets they are easy to access available online 24 7 it can be accessed through desktop or mobile but has a risk of unrecoverable theft when hacked cold wallet this method of transaction helps in protecting the wallet from unauthorized access from hacking and other online vulnerabilities now the wallet can be further distinguished on these criteria. there can be software wallets they can be hardware wallets which are like kind of usb driven and you plug into your usb drive and your hardware wallet can be used or they are a typical paper based wallet where you print your public key and a private key on a paper and keep it in a secure place let's talk about software wallet a software wallet is an application that is downloaded on a device either it could be a desktop or a mobile or it could be a web-based wallet which can be accessed online now here are certain examples dax bread wallet and copay are the popular software wallets so software wallet can be further categorized into desktop wallet online or we can call it web wallet or mobile wallets now desktop wallet are like cold wallet in which the private keys are stored in cold servers basically the desktop wallets the private keys are stored in your desktop you can unplug it from the internet do some offline transactions and then bring it back online now in case the main server is lost then a cold server basically your desktop is used as a backup server these wallets can be downloaded on any computer but can only be accessed from the system they are installed on so you make sure the desktop or the machine on which you have downloaded the desktop wallet is safe has a backup you're maintaining the hardware you're not letting the machine go anywhere and it is on a secure location now these wallets are definitely cost efficient and one of the examples is Electrum and is one of the most popular desktop wallets. Online wallets are the other kind of hot wallets that run on the cloud that are available on the internet. Now here users have the benefit of accessing these wallets across any device. It could be tablet, desktop or you can use it from your mobile browser. The private keys are stored online and are managed by a third party. You have to be dependent on a third party service. Now, for example, Green Address is a Bitcoin wallet which is available on the web, has an Android app, is available on a desktop and also is available on iOS, Apple.
mobile wallets mobile wallets are like similar to online wallets except that they are built only for mobile phone usage and accessibility these wallets are also user friendly and they have a user friendly interface for which helps you in doing transactions easily the example is mycelium which is the best available mobile wallet hardware wallets hardware wallet is a type of a cold storage device typically like a usb which stores the user's private key in a protected hardware device these wallets are similar to portable devices that can be connected to the computer can be plugged in as i said earlier it is less prone to malware attacks malicious attacks and it is hack proof examples are nano ledger trezor and key key are the top hardware wallets available in the market to make a transaction from your hardware wallet you have to ensure the hardware wallet is plugged into your computer system before you can do a transaction from your hardware wallet paper wallet a paper wallet is an offline process for storing cryptocurrencies this wallet is a printed paper consisting of both your private key and a public key which are accessed using a qr code now since these wallets are safe they are widely used for storing large amount of cryptocurrencies now example are bitcoin paper wallet and my ether wallet are one of the widely used paper wallets but the question arises how do i add cryptocurrency in my paper wallet in order to make a transaction with your paper wallet paper wallet works with your software wallets the online wallets to transfer funds from your software wallet to the public address shown on your paper wallet so basically first you park your funds in a software wallet then you transfer the funds from your software wallet to the public address printed on your paper wallet now let's do the comparison blockchain info blockchain info is a cryptocurrency wallet which supports bitcoin and ethereum it is easy to use and has a low transaction fee it has its apis exposed you can easily use them to order to make your own custom wallets also ledger nano ledger nano is a hardware wallet which offers a high security to your account it is available for bitcoin ethereum and litecoin users it is also possible to maintain multiple accounts and access them anytime bitcoin paper wallet paper wallet helps you to print your own tamper resistant bitcoin wallet it minimizes the threat of hacking jacks Jax is a software wallet which enables a user to exchange currencies within the wallet. It is available for Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin and many other cryptocurrencies. With Jax, a user can view his updated balance as soon as the processing is complete. Now, let's take a look at certain demos for the different kind of wallets we have talked about. So, let's first take an example of paper wallet. So, bitaddress.org provides you a paper wallet. It uses the client side JavaScript in order to generate a random hash for your wallet. So, you keep moving your mouse and it will generate a hash public and private key. It is recommended that when you are doing this process, you should be disconnected from the internet. And once these keys are generated, you can print it and keep it secure and clear the cache of your browser. So as you can see on the screen, this is my public key for receiving my bitcoins. And this is the private key for me to spend that. I can print it and keep it handy with me but of course the safety of these physical documents cannot be entirely guaranteed if a hacker discovers the location of your paper wallet and physically steals it then they can access your bitcoin holdings so basically it is of high importance that you keep the paper wallet in a very very secure location some users hide or disguise the paper wallet it should be protected from physical damage if the keys fade or can no longer be scanned then the user will never again be able to access the bitcoin which are parked in that address also take care if you are using an incorrect type of printer that also may damage the paper wallet now let's take a look for our second example of online wallet here we are taking an example of bitpay so you can download bitpay online and create your account over here you can create a personal wallet you can create a shared wallet or a joint share wallet once you create a wallet like if you see the example over here this is my personal wallet and i have 3.645 test bitcoins over here 
now in order to receive test bitcoins in my account you can receive these test bitcoins from testnet.coinfaucet.eu hyphen in now in order to receive it you just need to copy your bitcoin address in the testnet address So the test net has given me 0.87 Bitcoin. So now my balance has increased from 3.5 to 3.64 and I can see this transaction. See three minutes ago I just received 0.872287 Bitcoin. The transaction is still in process but in a while as this transaction is getting mined on the test net I will receive it. Now as I have received it, I can even make a transaction and send it to someone. So from my personal account, I can send Bitcoin to someone whose Bitcoin address I have and I have to just paste it over here. Transfer to Bitcoin wallet. Either I can select one of my own wallets or I can search for any other Bitcoin address which someone has shared with me and I can send it to that particular address. Now let's take an example of our hardware wallet. How does hardware wallet works with the online wallets? So here we have MetaMask which has a feature of connecting with hardware wallet. So once you have MetaMask installed, you will see this option of connect hardware wallet. Now MetaMask has provided support for Trezor. So now once you connect your hardware wallet, the USB with your computer, you can select an account you want to view on that particular hardware wallet and you can only choose one at a time and then you can start using that particular wallet for your decentralized apps. So basically once you have your hardware connected it is integrated with your MetaMask and then you can start running your decentralized apps so that they can start using the tokens or the currency in the particular hardware wallet. So use your hardware account like you would with any Ethereum account. Log in to dApps and send Ethereum buy and store ERC20 tokens and non-fungible tokens like CryptoKitties. So if you click connect to Trezor over here, MetaMask will start looking out for the connected treasure device. So I hope you all had a great learning session and I'll meet you in my next session. Thank you very much. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.